Right, Dad, annual checkup. Yeah, annual checkup. Tell me what's happening. Um, what would be a great lesson today? Well, as you can see, uh, I've lost, a, I seem to lot, lost a lot of distance. I That's a seven nine, seven nine there, isn't it? This yeah. is a seven nine. Yeah. And uh, I just, I, I can't seem to get a, a clean, solid strike. Right. Well, this last year, it just seemed such a weak hit. Yeah. Um, and I've tried all sorts of things trying to, to get a better strike, and I just can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Okay. And is it happening uh, with driver too? It seems to be with the driver as well. Yeah. I cannot get that good, solid strike. Yeah. yeah. That I did have, uh, you know, a few years ago. Okay. Cool. So what we'll do then is let's let's have a look at your irons. Let's let's figure out how you can see here. I'll go into the second. Okay. You've got you've basically you've got a major slice pattern. There's a huge drop in club head speed. I'll show you how it's how we massive, can, yeah. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, and we it can is. we'll I'll show you how we can increase that club head speed. Right. There's some good things about it. Yeah. And then we'll show you what things you can do to then maybe pass to driver. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. First thing I'm seeing, okay, if we have a look at these numbers here. So the first thing is, is let's just go through them really quickly. Okay. Low point, 2.9 inches after the golf ball. That's a good thing. That means what you're doing is you're striking the ball in the ground. Uh, right? That's, so that's, so that's, oh, good, that's good. Right? Yeah. It's good, right? So you, yeah, yeah. you're doing that. The problem is all your energy is going in the wrong direction. This club path, minus 11, basically means the path of your club is heading way down to the left-hand side. Really? So... The golf swing is an arc, yeah? Yeah. And you're arcing the ball way too far over here, so a lot of your energy is wasted. It's going this direction, as yeah. opposed to this direction, right? So the golf swing in itself is always going to be an arc, right? Yeah. The problem is, with yourself, you've got an arc that's so much over here, and all you need to do is shift your arc over here so that when the, so the, there's more force that goes in the, really? towards the target. Much, as much as, right, is it? Club path, minus 11. Right. That's okay. where you are. Yeah, yeah. I've got that. So all okay. we're going to do is shift your arc, yeah, because the low point's ready, we're going to shift your arc today mm. over this way, yeah, so that okay. ultimately you start putting more energy into the back of the golf ball. Nothing more complicated than that. Really? We'll start with that, and then we'll start to pass that to driver. Okay. Right? Yeah. So here's how we do it. And the first thing you've got to do, mm. get yourself set, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do here is this. We're going to feel it. So the, the first thing I'll notice here is your setup. All right, get yourself set. You're basically set up in what I call a slice position. Your hands right now mm. are directly in the middle of your legs. Right? They're right. almost directly in the middle of your legs. Yeah. Now what you want to do, you want to imagine this. When you're setting up to ball, there's an arc, right, when you're hitting it, yeah? Yeah. You've got to catch that ball early on in the arc, right? Does that make sense? So if I do this, let me show you, let me grab this piece of equipment here actually. Look at this here, mm. right? So here's the golf swing right there, okay? Right okay. there. Yep. Now right now, you're catching the ball on this side of the arc. Really? Yeah, look at it, minus 11. Good gracious. So you're catching the ball right. in your golf swing way over here. Good heavens. Yeah, that's we so need that's to catch horrendous. the ball on so this side. So all the power's gone. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Well, yeah, yes. It's, 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 it's heading in the wrong it's, direction. And it's, it's heading. Right. Yeah. So we need to get you. Like we need to get you catching the ball earlier in the arc. And if wow. you ca if you bring your club around here, look at yep. this. If you catch the ball earlier in this arc, where's the ball going to be heading now? Yeah, it's going to be heading right. So where's your swing path heading? To the right. To the right. Yeah. Where's your swing path heading when you hit, swing, hit the ball late? It's going to the. So exactly. Going to the left. Right. So let's some, come up with some simple things right. that you can yeah. do to simply. Good. Get that ball set off, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so get yourself set, okay? okay? And the first thing we're going to do is this. Relax there for a minute, yeah, to, to there. I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is this. If you want to catch the ball earlier, mm. what shaft angle helps this? There. A forward shaft uh, lean at setup, right? Or a backward shaft lean? No, it's got to be slightly forward. Exactly. Mm. Right, so that's the first thing. So, what could you also do then? If the shaft lean, what's going to help get in the, uh, what's going to help the shaft lean forward? A ball back or a ball forward? Ball back. Ball back. Right. So, what we're going to get self set. If I move this ball position way back in your stance like this. Okay. So, imagine I'm setting up to that. That's it. So, son, so if you set up normally here, right, and then I moved your ball position like sillyly back here. And also, you actually went back here. Mm. So you set, you set up here. Yeah. Right? Now, from here, where are you like to hit it? I'm going to hit it straight over there. Exactly. 
Right, so what we're going to do is, I need you to get this sensation. Yes, that's what's in it. Because if we can get that sensation, if you feel like, oh my God, I feel like I'm hitting it in a complete it place. It and hit it directly into the cabinet. Yeah, well then, we'll dial it. then what we'll do is we'll dial it back. Right. The worst thing you can do though, a lot of times people are trying to hit to the right. I don't want you to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to keep on this, create this beautiful arc. arc. Yeah. Yeah, so always create the arc. Mm. You just catch the ball there and continue versus there and hit it left. You follow? Okay. So get yourself set, and what I'll, I'll sort the ball out, right? No, all, all you're gonna do, look, is follow me, right? So stay where you are. Yeah. I'm gonna move the ball back on the arc. And you're, maybe it's a bit too much, you're gonna follow me with your body. Right. So turn, 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 turn. But don't, don't that's it, don't, don't change your stance so much, just change the alignment of this and this, right? Mm -hmm. That's it, good. Now from here, relax. I'm gonna get club first squared up a bit more. Yeah, makes sense. But yeah. your hands look, stay where they are. Mm. Now your job is to now start to trace the swing back, head it. It's going to head out to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Then it's going to work around this way. Make sense? Yeah. You're catching that ball early in your out. So keep the weight over onto your lead side. That's it. Try and hit the ball from there. So look what's happened straight away. What's happened to the club path now? Wow. Yeah. Makes sense. That's, so, funny. That's quite dramatic, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's massive. So you have gone from, just by doing that one thing, oh, what's happened yeah. now, you're, you've turned your numbers now into a draw ship. Yes. Yeah, by moving the ball back. Now, yet we, we're not working on power yet. No, I'm not too worried about it. And that hopefully will come once I get this. Uh... It's the simplest way to learn the feel of how to correct any slice mm. you have. So all we're doing is getting the sensation of where we catch that ball in the arc. And to start with, you've really got to exaggerate that, right? Yeah, and then just dial it in. Yeah, we'll, and... well, yeah, you'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second, yeah, okay. how we do that. Mm -hmm. So get yourself set again. Right. So set up normal. Yep. Then all I'm going to do, look, is move this ball on the arc further back in your stance. You follow it with your shoulders. Relax now. You're going to have to have a complete... So relax. I'm now going to twist the hand. Relax. Yeah. I'm going to twist the club. You make sense? Yeah. And then all your job now is to keep the weight. Now, the, the, after when people do this, you're already starting to do this. Wait You've got to keep your weight, look, forward. Now, because the ball's For, back... Forward. Yeah. I mean, this... Down. Well, you need to keep your weight here. So think about it, right? Every person who uh, slices mm. wants to do this. Ah, uh, right. Swing, and watch this, when you do this, yeah. you, swing, you create more room to swing to the left. This is why people slice the drive. Look at this now. Keeping the weight forward. I mean, if I exaggerate this, where's my body now relative to the ball? Yeah. Weight head. And, and, and if you think about the arc being this way, this yeah. is the arc, isn't it? Yeah. Where am I going to catch the ball now if, if, if my weight's forward? The, mm -hmm. more your weight, the more your weight is forward, where am I going to catch the ball? Early or late? Early. Early, miles early, right? Miles early. Exactly, right? So we want to exaggerate. So push your weight 60% on your left side. That's it. Keep it there. Mm. Keep that body all there. That's it. Ball back. Yeah. Perfect. Right. And this is a drill, the next uh, a drill, yeah? Okay. Don't change your stance, though. We don't want to cheat with a stance. So move your stance back. Just a little. That's it. Okay, off we go. Now watch this. Hey Presto, you've just played your first draw. Wow, look at that. Look at those numbers. Yeah. You've changed your club path. You've now got a face, now minus face means it's the closer the path you create the draw. Swing direction has completely changed. Your yardage is still where it need, uh, it's still low at the moment. Well, we we haven't touched that yet. No, no, well but that's, uh, that's, that's, that's you, mind blowing. Yeah, that's just how you change your shape. Wow. So what we do is now we've got a change of shape. We, we spend some time feeling this. Then we start to work on how we ramp that up, dial it in to generate some power. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that felt quite a clean hit there. Yeah, yeah. It ball will. turf. Yeah, ball turf, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, well, was it a ball turf strike? 5.2 inches after the golf ball. It should be because look, we've, we've moved the ball. The lowest point of the golf swing is underneath this lead arm here. So the, arc, the center of your radius, your arc, is right here. So if you've moved the ball way back, yeah. you can see here, well, we're so going to catch the ball there, when I, when I was there then the ground. I, when I was there, I really thought, blimey, I can't, that's, that's going to go really, exactly. really over there, yeah. to the right. Yes, but it did it. But, 
Exactly. And, and that's why people struggle, because they never take their uh, swings to the extreme. It so felt we, really, very, very uncomfortable, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why yeah, most people don't change, because they, they don't like yeah. uncomfortable. No. But you've got to take this first, build this system in, then we'll add speed. All right. So set yourself up. I'm going to let you do this on your own now. So, so what would you do now? That's it. Push that hip forward. That's it. Now I make sure your shoulders are matching the arc. Yeah, remember? Yeah. They've got they've they've gone on this arc as well, so that's gonna help you, yeah. Now look at this now. <laughs> that makes sense. It's, uh, it does, Daniel. Before we jumped in to try and add speed, what we did now with dad is we just spent a bit of time, didn't we, just getting you to comfortable with the pattern. Yes, you At did. Absolutely no point in trying to jump into trying to hit the ball further until you've got a consistent feeling of exactly what you're supposed to do. We started with that, we hit, we probably spent about 10, 15 minutes doing that? Yes, at least that, yeah. yeah 10, 15, yeah. 20 minutes, just kind yeah. of getting him comfortable with the pattern. And what you're gonna see now is exactly what we did to try and increase the club head speed and help you gain 20 plus yards. Let's get started. We want to start to add, you want some more club head speed, you want some power, right? Now currently, mm. your average club head speed was around about 60, 60 miles an hour, right? Which mm. this is only going to generate you maybe 100 yards on average, which right? yes, is not enough, right? right? Yep. So I would never advise anybody rush into this initially, okay? Mm. But here's what I want you to do. So I would, if, it, if anyone's, like for anyone who is watching and who wants to develop this, it's all about build your pattern in first. Get some practice so you've repeated that before mm. you do this, right? So that's what we've done. We spent quite a bit of time just yeah, sorry, bu yeah. building this in, right? Mm -hmm. Now to generate speed that can be taken not just to your irons but to your drivers to introduce my catapult method. Now you probably remember I did it back in, I think I came up with a method in 2017. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot of coaches now remember that. have adopted it, right? Now ultimately it's simply this. The catapult is when you, uh, if you want club head speed, there's only one way it, where it comes from, which is this. This club head fires through in this like catapult way. Mm. But if this club is firing, what's happened to this end of the club? Well, it's, it's going upwards. It's going up, right? Mm. This is firing, but it's not going with it. Mm. People who struggle to hit the ball far, the club head and the grip are doing too much of a similar thing through the impact area. Right. We have got to get you catapulting this club as best as we can, right? Yes. Yep. Simplest way to achieve this is all I want you to do is get yourself set up like this. Okay, if you jump with me, actually you can do this with me, mm. okay? All I want you to do is take the club. We're gonna imagine for a second, you, you, um, we're, I suppose we're gonna preset this, and we're gonna forget about direction for a second, we're talking to talk about purely about how you generate some speed. Right. Take the club, put it over your shoulder. Really feel like the big muscles are holding almost like an ax here. So it's almost like this ax here, it's weighing down behind you, right? You've got this big heavy ax. And what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna let the ax come over your shoulder as if it was really heavy, and you're gonna let the ax just fall down. You feel that momentum, the ax is falling down like this. This is you catapulted in. Now that there was a little bit too careful, let it fall. There, if it's too careful, what you're doing is this, watch this, if it's too careful, this is what people are doing normally. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. The head and the grip are doing the same thing, therefore it's not very powerful, mm. yeah? Throw the head, use the big muscles to throw it, right? Make sense? Good. Now come in here, all we do now, just for a second here, we're gonna completely forget about direction just for a second. We're gonna get you feeling where power is, yeah? And you'll realize a lot of people wonder how I hit the ball far, it feels like an effortless swing. This is how we do it, right? So all you do, you get yourself set, and now you use this feeling of, in a sense, of the big muscles just letting the head just throw, and let it just throw through. Nothing more complicated than that, right? Really feel like the catapult is just going. So you're really letting go of this club, lift the big muscles of your shoulder, the club of your shoulder, now let the big muscles just let it go down to what, that's it, but really let it go down as you're chopping. There you go, makes sense. You're letting the ax almost just, just that, Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this, when we look back on this camera, that is like, it just, the, I can hear the whip. Mm. Makes sense. So with an average club head speed of around about 62 miles an hour, let's see what speed naturally gets up to. 60 to 62, I think you were, roughly, okay? Every mile an hour club head speed is equivalent to about three yards. So let's have a look at this in terms of speed. 69 miles an hour worth of club head speed. Mm -hmm. So you've just added nine miles, now we forget about strike for a second. Yes. You've added nine miles an hour just by simply adding the catapult. Nine miles an hour, 
times by three is equivalent to 27 yards once we apply the pattern that we've just done. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah. So if we start to apply... And I, and I felt that I didn't hit the ball first. You, you fatted it. I did. It still carried 92 yards because of club head speed. Mm -hmm. If we start to add the pattern what we've just put into your swing, yeah. you will gain 27 yards guaranteed based on science. Just by, adding, just by doing that, one simple mm -hmm. thing. Okay? But for now, we'll just focus on where speed comes from, and then what you do, now you know this, then you start adding it in to the pattern we've just generated. I see, I did, yeah. You follow? Got okay. Do, yeah. Off you yeah, go. Okay, Danny. Let's, let's do it. So don't worry about direction. And I want everyone to do this. No, no one worries about direction initially when you try to generate a feeling of speed. Yeah. Let it go, feel where speed comes from, then start to direct that speed with what we've done. Okay? I see, yeah. Good. So it's big muscles over your head, feel like you're chopping this. Let, let, that's it. let that axe go, that's it. You've, like you've got no control over it, yeah? You're using the bigger muscles up and down. Sixty-seven, sixty-eight miles an hour club head speed. Look at the carry now. Look at the distance. Yeah, one hundred twenty-one, one hundred thirty-five. And you didn't strike that there, did you? No. Exactly. Right. But because your power's coming up now, sixty-seven miles an hour. I mean, again, is that six or uh, seven, eight? That's 20, an extra twenty-four. When we did, when we put this with the previous yeah, pattern, the, the, it's I'm twenty-four. Actually, hit the ball first there. No. Again, it's like a bit of a bit of a chunk contact. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was exactly. But I don't care about that. I feel that right like now. I'm a little bit out of control, but the, the extra speed, obviously. Is Self-explanatory, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. And this is, this is what we apply to, to the pattern we've just done right. in a second. Okay, so keep going. All we're focusing on now is speed, nothing more. Keep it nice and simple as that. What does that feel like? There you go, look. Now up to 140 in total, 125 yards in carry. Make sense? It does. So you're gaining now, you're starting, and I'm starting to see speed, yeah? That sounded just beautiful. Look at that. There you go, look. Now you're up to 100, almost 130 yards in carry on that one. Yeah. 143 yards in total. Yeah? Makes sense? Simple. Yeah. Really, really simple. This is really good, though. Well done. Right. This looks something like a proper golf swing. Well done. Yeah. That's all right. It's down a little bit. Well, but the strikes. It's, uh, but this is the good. Strikes. Look. Uh, Speed yeah. sixty-seven. Strikes all there. But it's but the, we've got the accuracy. We're starting to get the carry up now. You've, you've gained comfortably yeah. without without anything at all. Accurate. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It? I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, so, uh, well, I've just got to get to the get to the driving range and uh, groove it in. Really. Yeah. Pattern first. Pumpers, Start yeah. to see those strikes, consistent strikes, and the, and the, the straightness, and even that lovely draw, exaggerate it, yeah. before we worry about distance. Distance comes yeah. second. Hopefully you... that will uh, yeah. increase as I, I, I improve. Well, if we've got time, and I know you live away, but if we've got time, that, we'll build that up, and that carry should get to 150 yards. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well done. Good.